we're discussing Arnav Arcana's uh, latest entry to the subclass for monks, Way of Mercy. Yes. So, what are your initial thoughts? Uh, very unique. Um, unique is the best way I can put it. With a lot of the other different views that monks have, uh, you have uh, ones that are almost like pure fighting, and then you have ones like the Drunken Master, which uh, is almost like an off-kilter person trying to... Someone who pretends to be off-kilter, but has very pr- particular goals in mind. And... We have the four elements, which was basically like working with the uh, with nature itself to learn how to like control your powers. This one very much is uh, the way it's defined, at least, is this per uh, this individual, your character, if you so choose, um, ha- wants to bring mercy to the world. And for people who are down on their luck, they bring it in healing ways, in, in good ways, positive ways. But there is also mercy for evil or less forgivable people, which is not always, but usually death or some form of punishment. And it's almost a little lawful, which is mm. really, to me, monks don't, don't usually go that way. To me, like, chaotic, good, evil, neutral is, like, kind of how I see monks sometimes. But they do have tenets, usually. Mm. I don't know. There's a, there's a lot of interesting ideas, but the mechanics I love. I love the new mechanical ideas of uh, the harming hands and healing hand type stuff. How about you? Is there anything that super has stood out for you so far? Well, Again, what you mentioned, uh, what's interesting about this subclass is that you manipulate uh, life force, mm-hmm. you know, um, positive and negative. And uh, I I like the role-playing aspect of mm-hmm. it. I, it reminds me of Plague Doctors in medieval Europe. That's what I'm, I don't know why, I, it's, it may, well, maybe because you, you wear... It's the masks. I yeah. Swear, yeah, the options for having specific merciful masks that they're going to have that like defi- kind of like define that kind of trait. Yeah, so I... I I like it. It's 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 interesting. It's a it's a to me it's a it's a, a different option from playing cleric. Uh, clerics are always the go to for for healing. Mm-hmm. You know, if you want your your, your party to be balanced, you need a cleric, or else you're gonna have a yeah. hard time. Like Druid did, like with the Druid of I think Shepherd, mm. or I think it was the one that had like a little bit of healing that yeah. like and paladins. So yeah, and paladins always have like that little bit of healing boost. But you're right, like. Especially for physical classes, like this, like people always want like the medic class, that mm. medic class that can go out there and heal people. And people always like make a rogue or usually like a fighter, sort of like that, like war torn Europe, like mm. World War Two. Like you go out there with a med pack and heal somebody. This is probably as close in a medieval setting as you're gonna probably get. Yeah, to that. exactly. That that's the the feeling I I got out of it. I I, I I'm very in favor favor of this. I I like. I, again, I like the, the role-playing aspect of it where it's, it's, it's it, it, again, it actually fits more to the idea of how I imagine monks, you know, as these uh, teachers and healers and, and at times maybe even, uh, the uh, you know, they could be a, a, a force of, of, of darkness as well. Yeah, um, definitely. <laughs> you know, I, I, when I first heard the name, I was concerned, like, oh, this is going to be just for uh, good good characters only, but I like the fact that you can do damage. It could be, I could see this, see this, as someone that has a warped philosophy using these powers for something totally messed up. That would be a, that's a great character idea, especially because I feel like whenever you have a chance to wear a mask, and I have characters in my campaigns that as often as they can wear a mask or have a fake face on, mm. it puts that motif where you're almost like a vigilante where you can... And vigilantes are not always good yeah. people. Sometimes they do have corrupt views, and I could totally see how someone would be like, yeah, I could heal people, but what if I healed someone and then hurt them really badly, yeah. and then I healed someone and then I hurt someone really badly? Yeah. Well, that, yeah. <laughs> um, and, but, like, the hands of healing and the hands of harm, like, just, like, for level three, having a good way to, like, have a physical class being able to heal somebody else besides themselves, I really like. Um, I, I've been playing the a Descent into Avernus game right now, and... I'm I'm a nice DM where I don't <laughs> want all of my characters to die unless they're willing to do it and willing and they like you know you put emotional work in your character and if you are willing to part with that and make a new character good on you but I'm going to give you every method you need to survive. I would totally take that hands of healing idea and mm. make like an item out of it for my monk character and be mm. like hey you're not like you're a different type of monk but now you have the access to this thing, which like, hey, that's a little more survivability for your whole crew, but, and but it costs you a key point, and key points are like so precious to monks. Yeah. Key points are more precious to monks than spell slots are to, to every magic <laughs> yeah. user, and it's yep. crazy. <laughs> you only get twenty at max. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, I, I, I like this a lot. I like Nauseous Aura. I thought that's a pretty cool, uh, at, least, at least for a role-playing effect. Like, imagine coming to a room having that, and it's just you're trying to repel people. And it's just, you know, it's like you, you get vibes off people, and then you actually feel damage from it. And it's just, I don't know. I just, I like that a lot. And then um, the final one, the, the Hands of Mercy, like the final thing. I love that for the idea of, like, suspended animation on somebody. And, like, suppose they can't take damage or anything, so you can't, like, this isn't something you technically could use on an enemy, but you could still use it. Like, suspended animation, this person can't do anything, and mm. they're, they are at your whim in some form or another. And, like, there's so many, again, I think this, for roleplay purposes, is great. Um, kind of like what we had with the Barbarian, where, like, there were certain things mechanically that you could improve. This one, I think, does a better job of giving you abilities throughout when you add them to the Monk toolkit which is already stacked as far as i'm concerned is already mm. really good like you can heal you're already a good damage dealer and you can distract you can run away real quick uh you could take an enemy out of a fight you could take uh if someone is about to die you could again suspended animation here over the side you we're gonna bury you for like a day we're gonna come <laughs> back we're gonna have a solution for this there's, there's a lot of great role play like purposes for having like this medical mercy monk mm. medical mercy monk <laughs> alliteration guys it's great <laughs> alright um, any final thoughts oh no, that's it I'm, I'm, I'm keen to to try this out same um, what do you, what do you guys what other classes do you think should have healing capabilities besides all the goddamn spellcasters what do you <laughs> what, what do you want to see a fighter that can heal a rogue barbarian a healing barbarian Ooh, healing barbarian <laughs> compared to the other ones did you like the astral self more like what are what archetypes are really speaking to you right now because honestly this one and astral self are really high up there i don't play monks so the fact that these make me want to play monks is not a good sign <laughs> <laughs> or is it a good sign uh either way all right. all right let us know below thank you very much see you guys